Hello, my name is James Tin. I am a systems engineer at Blue Coat Systems, placed in Sydney, Australia. What I'm going to do is show you a demonstration of the Blue Coat Proxy Client, which is a WAN acceleration and content filtering solution for a mobile user. So I'm connected via a 3G wireless internet connection, and for me to get access to my corporate resources, I have to create a VPN connection. So the Blue Code Proxy Client actually works with any VPN connection, whether it's IPsec or SSL VPN. Now I have Proxy Client loaded on my machine, but it's actually disabled right now. So if I browse to my home drive and access resources in the United States, you can see that it took a little bit of time to come up. And if I transfer this document, and I'll start my stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes to transfer this three and a half meg word document. Now this is transferring over SIFS uh, which was originally designed for local area networks but uh, now more and more organizations have mobile users and branch offices and we're pushing the same protocols over higher latency links. So you can see that the Microsoft random generator has uh, kicked in and uh, we'll just see how long the latency is so it's around 300 400 so we'll just say around 300 milliseconds so we'll just wait for this to finish I want to make you sit through it so you can understand what pains uh, mobile and remote access users go through. So that bar seems to have stalled. And it's going over the internet, which is a non-guaranteed type of link. Best effort. Okay, so it took one minute and twenty seconds to transfer that document. Alright, so what I'm going to do is bring up our proxy client interface. So I'm going to enable WAN acceleration. And just so we're not cheating, I'll clear the cache. And proxy client accelerates only new TCP connections. So I'll drop the TCP connection by simply disconnecting from the VPN and reconnecting. Put that in the recycle bin and I will browse to H drive again. Right, immediately you'll be able to see that there's a little bit of gain due to compression. If I transfer this 3.5 meg document again, start my stopwatch, alright, so you can see that we can get savings straight away due to compression, and we can get time savings due to the SIFS protocol optimization. So we stop that, and that took 20 seconds. So you can see that we would have transferred 3.6 megabytes over the wire, but Proxy Client has actually reduced that down to 429k. Alright, so if we do that again, we'll see how long it takes. Now what we'll see is object caching come into play. The exact same document, and before we deliver that document we check to see where the, the user has got the right permissions and the file is still there and we can see that it would have sent 7.3 meg without any acceleration and with acceleration it's now 430k so we probably sent you know, a few kilobytes for an object cache hit I think it's less than 4 kilobytes now what I'm going to do is transfer 
this other three and a half meg document that has very similar content, but there's a little bit of changes in that document, and the file name is actually different. So we'll transfer this document, and we'll see how long it takes to do this. So let's just get my stopwatch ready again. Start. All right, we saw that there was calculations going on. Random number generator said two minutes, but it actually took 14 seconds. And we can see that now 10, 11 meg has gone, or would have gone across the wire, except now it's half a meg that actually went across the wire. So we can see inbound savings of 96%. And that took 14 seconds. So it took two seconds, hot pass, 14 seconds. Okay, so you can see that there's immediate savings in time and bandwidth savings when proxy client is used. So if I now open up my Internet Explorer and browse to the Internet, And I'll just hit a very uh, well used website, playboy.com, and we'll see what it comes back with. Okay, we can see that proxy client has given up an error message that says it's been denied because it's category pornography. Now, this can actually be customized uh, to however you want. You can have your logos for your organization. and the user cannot actually disable this. So thank you very much for your time and that was a demonstration of Bluecoat Proxy Client. Thank you.